Hey, good afternoon, uh, YouTube out there. Um, giving you a little update, some things I've discovered tonight at uh, or this week at Dollar Tree. Um, they've got uh, three different types of fuel over there that burns in your alcohol stove. I did realize and didn't know and kind of give some advice. The yellow, believe it or not, it leaves a, a yellow residue uh, when it's burned, and the red, believe it or not, leaves a red residue. The white seems to burn clean, so uh, I don't know what, maybe there's lead or something in the other ones, but I'm gonna stick with the the white can. It seems to burn clean. They've got little chafing stoves over there for a buck. You can, it'll burn up to two hours. Uh, another little find that I thought was kind of neat um, was their little spray bottles. Um, you know, the little, I'm oh, sorry, the little spray bottles that comes in there. And, uh, this is the uh, bo bottom and then the top is is uh, is already in there. So um, you can see, I don't know if you can see that red residue when I burned that red. It left a red residue in the bottom of this jar. But what I did is when I cut the top off and the bottom off, it left me with that the middle section in here. Uh, and so I cut that middle section off twice and uh, what that does, I thought it was kind of neat, it gives me an, actually a, a pot stand that uh, can give me a little bit more security uh, when my pot's setting up here on top. And so that, that worked out really nice. And then on the chafing stove, uh, if you're using this on a chafing stove, you can, uh, uh, because you can't pot stand, you don't have a pot stand with a chafing stove, so put that on there like that and then now you got a pot stand and burns excellent so the chafing stove really works good for just warming up some water uh of course the alcohol stove does really good for boiling water and um so but i thought both of them was pretty neat one thing i did learn in making an alcohol stove i've not made that many but when uh when i drilled my holes to turn the drill bit and pull it up and pull it out and what that seems to do it seems when the uh, alcohol is burning that the plume uh, is tighter against the uh, the the lid. And so I thought that seemed like it worked a little bit better. But kind of give you some ideas, which you can find at uh, Dollar Tree. A little simple, uh, what cost me one, two, three dollars in gas and a dollar for the fuel and a dollar for the that. And then while I was over there, they had a, a little pole punch that I punched the holes in there with. So didn't think it was a bad deal for doing a little bit of experimenting. And so give me some feedback, uh, like and share, I appreciate it. Thank you.